So in the last video, I covered the user interface in iClone 8. Now we're going to be jumping to a program called Character Creator 4. We're going to make a basic character and send to iClone. So the first thing I want to cover is uh, bringing in the base. Now there's a couple of things I like to do. One is you notice that there's something called item and pack. We're going to select pack. What this will do is kind of bundles everything. It's much more easier to search. And I'll explain this once we bring in uh, like clothing and hair and why I like working with it. So let's go to characters. Let's bring in Kevin. Okay, so we have Kevin here. Uh, we have a base to work with. So on the right, we have attributes. So this is where edit mesh. Uh, if you have any clothing, if the skin is poking out, you can actually go to edit mesh here. Select face and then just drag whatever is uh, poking through. And then what you can do is called uh, select hide. And if we exit out, you'll notice it kind of disappears. It's pretty useful for that. So let's just go back to edit mesh. Let's go to face and show all. And there we go. Here is where you're going to pose and uh, edit some facial animations to see if everything works. It's pretty useful as a test. This is morphs. Now, this is where you're going to adjust body and facial features. But since we're just going to bring in, uh, we're going to bring this character in. We're not going to deal with this too much, but you can do this at your own time. So. The next feature is where you're going to edit your skin. Like if you want to add tattoos or cuts or scars or makeup, this is where it's going to be. Uh, if you press this, it's going to uh, remove the clothes. You'll put them back on once it's unchecked. It just uh, wants to show certain like uh, like it wants to go through the details here. So here uh, is material settings. Now here is going to be your expression wrinkles. Keep in mind, if you're going to bring in uh, certain expression wrinkles, you'll need to have the facial profile selected. So this is facial profile. I think we have one for Kevin. Yes, we do. But for certain characters, you want to have CC one, uh, the 140 extended selected on your character. You just click and drag and it'll set it up. You'll have to probably make some adjustments like uh, go to character and correct eye blink. And then you'll probably have to fix eye element, but that's uh, that's much more for custom characters. So, and then here is going to be your physics for like the hair. There's if there's any soft cloth, you'll probably have it. You'll probably see this. So we're done with that. Let's just put some hair and clothing onto the character. So under hair. I like to go through and let's actually go and find something called stylings. There we go. Select that. And then you can actually, uh, this is why I like working under this pack tab here is it kind of condenses everything. You can easily find what you need. So let's go to hair and then hairstyle or hair group. Uh, let's go through here. Uh, let's go select this. There we go. And let's go through t-shirts. Um, let's see. Let's go with something like this. And let's go with pants. Some jeans. Okay, you'll notice that the boxer shorts are kind of uh, overlapping. That's okay. Let's go to scene, go to boxers and select delete. There we go. And back to content. And now we have some shoes. Let's go just some red shoes. There we go. I think yeah, that's a problem. You see the feet is poking through. That's okay. So you go to conform. 
calculate co uh, collision and it should fix itself and there we go so there we are so yeah form calculate co uh, collision otherwise you may have to hide the uh, skin the skin mesh as we stated you just go to scene to your character edit mesh and then you go to face and then you highlight certain features like this and then press hide that's how you uh, will make small adjustments like this but yeah basically this is the character now there's two ways to send in the character iClone here's uh, one is called send to iClone and if you have your program open just like this and yeah it's pretty simple to work with but the problem is um, I don't like really doing this very much I'd rarely do it I like to have a like a copy I can work with just in case if I need to make adjustments in the future so we're going to delete this you can do that if you want to but for me I like going to file export iAvatar so we can actually make adjustments. Let's say I want to do 496 by 496. We can go to highest and then export. Um, go here and just go to Kevin. Export that. Okay. So if we go to iClone. So if I click and drag Kevin into the scene, then we go to zero, zero, and zero. And there we go. Kevin is now in the scene here. Yes, so the next part will be applying the pre-made animation and working with the edit motion layer. So stick around for that. Thank you for watching.